For years, fans of hardware have been determining what's faster, Intel chips or AMD chips? Well, in the Tom's Hardware Test Kitchen, we're going to find out which one's faster at making pancakes. I'm Andrew Friedman. I'm Sharon Harding. And we're going to make some pancakes, starting right here on this motherboard here. We got the MSI X-Power Gaming AC, and we already have the Intel Core i9-9980XE in the socket, and we have actually ripped up the VRMs here because we're gonna take this pan, which as you see also has some thermal paste applied, and that is gonna be our heat sink. So we have some batter ready, and we got our spatula, and we even got a little bit of syrup here, and we're gonna see how this does in making pancakes. So let's turn this on. Now as soon as this goes on, we're gonna get the batter in there. I guess I'll hold this down, get a little bit of batter in there, and that'll help absorb the cooling. Now we're going to say about this Intel, which is, this is like a roughly $2,000 processor. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? So Sharon's going to hold this down, right? Get some equal cooling. And there you go. So it's a little, it's a little liquidy, so we're not going to move it. This is a roughly $2,000 processor. Can we get Ada up here on the screen? And it's it it boots. It's just going to start getting hot. Look at that. We're already getting up to 70 degrees Celsius. By the way, um, don't try this at home. Don't rip the VRMs off of your motherboard and don't get pancake batter on your motherboard or really anything else like that. Um, so what do we do here, Shannon? Start. We pre-treated this with a little bit of olive oil for non-stick. Yes. And we made the batter, you made the batter. We made yeah, a, we made it a little bit more liquidy than normal. Why would we do that? So it would cook a little bit easier and quicker. We hope. We hope. So one thing we've done here is we've gone into the BIOS and we've removed the throttling limitation. We've moved up to 105, so that should get plenty hot here. And we're gonna run a stress test here in Ida to really heat up the chip a little bit. In our earlier test, we had a little bit less liquidy batter. This liquidy batter is actually doing a decent job at keeping the chip cooler than in our earlier dry runs. Okay, you actually see here on the motherboard, we've hit 04. That's because that's 104 degrees Celsius. We've seen it flip from 99 over to 104. It's like going to a baseball game or something and like seeing like those automatic scoreboards flip over. So with the stress test going, we're starting to see some bubbles. So Sharon, how's that pan feeling? <laughs> the pan is definitely getting pretty warm. I'm using the edge of my nail to press it because it's pretty hot. But we can see the pancakes starting to cook. It's starting to rise. There are a few bubbles in there, so. So we're at 104 Celsius. That's like 220 degrees Fahrenheit for those of you who cook in Fahrenheit in the United States. We're finally getting some bubbles, which means hopefully we can flip this baby over soon and see how well he has that. <laughs> and so the bubbles have seemed to set, but still kind of a little bit liquidy around the edges. So we'll give another minute and see how that goes. So some notes on this pan. I guess like if we were doing this scientifically, we would have drilled some holes in the pan and made it so we can, put, we can mount it directly to the motherboard with screws. But we need to use this pan again later with our thread ripper. So here we're just kind of holding it down. So let's try to flip this. It's, it's still a little wet on the side. We're not ready yet. Well, this just shut off, which isn't great. So it looks like we got a little bit of VRM throttling. The whole thing shut down. We have this Noctua fan that we're going to put on there in an attempt to cool everything down. So let's get this in here to cool the VRMs. I'll press the power button again. So I'll hold the, you want to hold the fan and I'll try to hold the pancake. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Now let's try to flip it, because let's see how it's doing. A little yes. soft, a, li a, li a little soft, but we got we got some pancake there. <laughs> it's a little bit of pancake. You can flip, try to flip some more of this. Yeah, look at that. It's definitely servable. Well, it doesn't look servable, but like you could. Just like mom used to me. <laughs> At what point are we gonna deem this safe to try? <laughs> Let's give it a little bit of time on here. So we're back up to 104, which is good. Um, this seems to be, means like the VRM cooling seems to be working. What's your favorite type of pancake, Sharon? You know, I just like good old fashioned buttermilk. I don't want any fruit in there. I don't want any chocolate. I actually prefer waffles. We don't have to talk about that. I just don't know, like I want to try this pancake when we're done, but I don't know when it's going to be safe. That piece there looks so ugly. Well, I mean, we're clearly, oh yeah, look at this. I'm gonna steal it. So yeah, we're on, we're on the 9980XE here at IHOP, the Intel House of Pancakes. We're gonna go soon to the AM Diner. So we, we don't have a lot of room here. You wanna try this pancake? Yeah. 
All right, let's stop the th let's let's stop our timer. Oh. Okay, so like in this roughly unscientific, did we flip it? Did we not flip a test? We're at just under 16 minutes at this pancake. Um, we don't really have any plates here, so we don't have a lot of room. But I do have a fork for you. Thank you. I have a fork for me, and I have a little bit of syrup. We're just gonna kind of put on there. Look at oh man, look at that golden brown. We're just gonna try this pancake that we made on this computer. Paul Alcorn, who lent us his motherboard, he's like. Oh, he's like crying off stage that we're getting syrup on his motherboard. So, yeah. I mean, that's not bad. You don't seem to like it. I'm having another. Is it what's wrong? No, it was good. It just crumbled out of my mouth. I'm taking I another piece. I spit out a pancake on camera. Wow. I'm taking another piece. It wasn't bad. I left some for you. A little, just a little gooey. A little gooey, yeah. Could you spit a little more time? But again, we also made the batter pretty liquidy. So that could um, affect the texture. But yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's not bad. All right, so AMD challenge issued by the 9980XE. It made a pancake, not a <laughs> perfect pancake, but a pancake. So we're gonna clean all this up. We're gonna bring our Threadripper rig out here and we're gonna try it on that. We're back. We're back with the Threadripper 2990WX. We have it here on the MSI X399 creation. We have a shit ton of thermal paste on this thing. Like, and that's that's purposeful. We're not doing you know, scientific benchmarking on here. We're trying to fill the grooves on this pan. That's what we're going for. So this is for pure pancake making, not, not computing. We know we did this with too much paste. It's cool. So we are a little bit, you know, we're a little bit optimistic about this one. Because you see, this has a much larger surface area, so it should be easier to cool. And as you can see here, definitely cover more of the pan. We have a bigger stove top this time around. So let's get our heat sink pan on here, which again, we've treated with a little bit of olive oil because we don't have any pan lying around. And the whole, gonna put this on, turn it on. And Sharon, batter please. Yes, chef. You're a chef too. Equal opportunity chef, but uh, that looks, that looks, oh yeah, that looks good. All right, so. We are going. <laughs> now, one thing we couldn't do in the BIOS, which we could do on Intel's, was to get it up to 105 degrees Celsius as a throttling point, but we're still expecting this to get nice and toasty. See, we're pulling up IDA64 here. Did we get it? Okay, yeah, so we're, we're on Windows. We're gonna pull up IDA64, and we're gonna have a nice little temperature monitor, as well as eventually over here, we'll have a, temp, a little temp gauge. So we have we have our pancake heat sink on here. It's starting to get warm, Sharon. You know what temperature we're at? So it's at 44 degrees Celsius. Okay, cooler than the Intel. Yeah, so we'll see how hot it actually gets. And we're gonna run a stress test now to get it a little hotter. Let's get that running in Ada. Got some bubbles. Also. Yeah, look at that. And at a much cooler temperature than the Intel one. Again, this test is not at all scientific, and you should not try it on your Threadripper or any processor that you have. So we're seeing the temps are going up a lot slower than the Intel one was, which might be partially because it's spreading heat more efficiently or just likes the pan better, who knows? Hmm. We have a lot of thermal paste on it. Look at us, 87 degrees Celsius. So still not as hot as we were on Intel, but we're, we're trying to get there. We want to make this fair. Okay, so this, so this crashed, which is not great. Obviously not ideal. We're gonna hit the power button again. So when it hit 100C, this thing crashed, obviously. So we just hit the power button again. We're gonna try to bring it back online. Starting to get some slow bubble in here. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just starting to get it. Yummy. Right, so we've got no So we hit the power button again. We've got nothing on the screen. The pan's still hot, so we're still hoping it cooks. So the Threadripper's temperature control seemed to be kicking in. It was not designed to make a pancake and we were not able to override those. So we're gonna you know, let it keep cook cooking because the pan is still hot. That's yeah, touching, it's hot. Yeah, it is so hot. And it is bubbling a little bit, so maybe there's a chance that the thing will cool down and we can get it back to running Windows and we're just gonna keep cycling this because it keeps turning on so the chip can't be dead. But it's real, real warm. Oh, there are messages off. Give it another minute. This is not good for our unscientific time test. For our hungry chefs. <laughs> Like, I'd like to try flipping this thing anyway, but it looks a little liquidy, right? Yeah. Would you give it a little more time then? Yeah, I would wait a little bit more. Oh, hmm. and it's off. Now, it's the chip still must be hot or it wouldn't keep turning off. So, 
mm. on the bright side, the stove top's still kind of warm. We're gonna keep tr we're we're keeping trying this. I mean, obviously, it's not a great look. There's a lot of things this could go down to. Um, in theory, the processor should just be throttling itself, but it's not. It's shutting off, and that could be due to any number of reasons. It could be due to the heat. Could be an issue with the motherboard. So, should we just try and flip it? Like, <laughs> got nothing to lose. All right, let's got nothing to lose. So I'll hold this down, and you go for it, Chef. <laughs> a little liquidy? Yeah, I'm getting some... Yeah, you're getting some pushback. Oh, it's like gelatinous. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe yeah. not. Yeah, I don't... So we're at the 18 minute mark. We kind of got this flipped with Sharon's amazing um, skillet strumming skills. It looks kind of solid. Yeah. Like, a little bit. Um, definitely still a little goo, but in the... In, yeah, there... Oh. There we go. Can you see that? Yeah. In the interest of science, <laughs> we we have to try it. So can you bring that down? Get a little yes. bit of get a little bit of syrup on. There we go. <laughs> and go for it. Dig in. Oh no. There's the definitely tea. there's definitely like some like not fully cooked stuff in here. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. That's that is texturally wrong. Mm -mm. No, I'm not having another piece. Mm -mm. <laughs> you can leave it. Um, so, in this unscientific contest, in, it looks like Intel's 9980X8 makes a better pancake for whatever that's worth to you, <laughs> dear viewer. Um, obviously, in the computing space, your needs may actually differ, but for this particular instance, we're gonna have to go with Intel. Um, for Tom's Hardware, I'm Andrew Friedman. I'm Sharon Harding. And this was the Tom's Hardware Test Kitchen.